A group of former Republican lawmakers want the state legislature to investigate utility regulators and how billions in energy costs were passed along to us, the ratepayers. Our Barry Mangold joins us now with more on how the Oklahoma Corporation Commission is looking into this. Barry. Yeah, Carl, the Oklahoma legislature and the Corporation Commission approved of utility companies using what's called securitization, which allows billions in unexpected costs to be passed to ratepayers over the next 20 years or longer. This still appears to be what may likely be the largest public corruption scandal in state history. Mike Reynolds and two other former state representatives calling on the legislature to investigate how state regulators spread out billions in inflated energy costs over the next several years. During winter storm Uri in February 2021, three major Oklahoma utilities paid more than $3.7 billion for energy. With interests, ratepayers will ultimately pay $4.7 billion over the next two decades in the form of an extra $2 to $8 every month. Reynolds says it shouldn't have been passed to customers. But just the publicly traded companies passed along, or got the securitization to pass along the cost to the ratepayers, those should have been passed along to their stockholders. The Corporation Commission voted two to one to allow companies to cover the costs through ratepayer backed bonds. Commissioner Todd Hyatt says it was the best route for customers, saying, quote, securitization meant the lowest possible monthly payments for ratepayers. There was no other option offered that didn't result in higher monthly costs. Meanwhile, critics want the deal reversed. I would say that the bonds can be undone. I believe the legislature can do just about anything they want to do when they have a mind to. When I asked of this issue, if this issue could come up in the next session, the Senate president and the governor's office declined to comment. A spokesperson for the Speaker of the House did not respond. Barry Mangold, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.